All right, want to give a uh, quick overview of the uh, Mountain View Farms. It's located in Owsley County, Kentucky. This location, we have over 50 acreage parcels available with a variety of features. Nearly 10 of the parcels, there's either a, some type of structure, there's barns, uh, block building, uh, some small cabin, variety of different uh, structures to choose from, about 13 parcels that have ponds on them, a creek fringe on several of the properties as well. The tracks range from anywhere from three to 17 acres. Now I wanna tell you a little bit about the location of the property is the uh, red area. You'll notice that over here is London and then about a 35 minute drive away is the Red River Gorge area up here near Beattyville and then in Boonville that'd be the nearest town there you'll find uh, it's where the courthouse is at and there's you know grocery store gas station uh, Dollar General's there so there's everything you would need is there in Boonville as well and if I zoom out a little bit further, Lexington is a major city that's maybe about an hour and a half away. And then down here is Knoxville. So those would be the, uh, the nearest cities. Okay, to get to the property, you go to exit 41 off of I-75, turn to go towards Manchester, and you're gonna go about a mile and a half. You're gonna then turn on Route 30, uh, about 20 miles. Your next turn will be on Route uh, 1431. And you're gonna take uh, Route 1431, a little over a mile. You're gonna turn right onto Highway 1709, about another mile. 1709 just turns into Malden, Owsley County Line Road. So you're gonna continue on the, this road, Malden, Owsley County Line Road and you're going to continue for approximately 2.6 miles and when you get to this point right here this uh, red dot then you will be at the property so that red dot is approximately right here where my cursor's at so when you uh, get to that point you're going to be uh, near these set of lots here and to go to these uh, lots up here, you would turn on um, Beals Fork Road. Uh, it's also called Highway 1071, but it's not a paved road, it's a, a gravel road. So that that's the directions on how to get to the property. Now I'd like to show you some of the uh, various ponds and structures that are uh, throughout the property. This is one of the ponds. I, I believe that's on lot three. This one is on lot 23. This is the largest pond on the property. This is on lot 33. This one is one of my favorite. It's uh, sort of tucked away, real private, beautiful uh, drive back into it, this grass field. It's on lot 51. Here's another real nice one. This is on lot 53. It's sort of on the back side of the property. I want to show you a few of the structures. So this is the block building and it's got two bays in it. An electric run to it. it, has a metal roof. This is a hunting blind that's on the property. Very, very good quality structure with a metal roof. That's on lot eight. This is a metal barn that's on lot 13 and it has a metal roof as well. This barn's located on lot 28. Uh, has has a metal roof and this one's got a concrete floor with a make a great like picnic shelter or storage storage area this structure is brand new this one sits on lot 47 just this picture here gives you an idea of the view that it has as far as uh, the location of the property and proximity to some of the uh, recreational activities that you'll find in the area the Red River Gorge is located up in this area here. Actually, it's here. Beattyville's here. Red River Gorge um, is up, up in that area there. And if you go up a little bit further, this is Cave Run Lake. That's uh, a really popular fishing destination. Uh, they probably allow boating there. In McKee, you have the 
Mill Creek Wildlife Management Area. So a lot of recreational activities there. And then over here is the Redbird Wildlife Management Area. And if you go back towards London, this Wood Creek Lake, this is a really popular uh, fishing destination. Laurel River Lake, or we call it Lake Cumberland. And it's a, a very large, um, as you can see, a very large lake, uh, lots of houseboats and different recreation, recreational activities uh, there at the Lake Cumberland. Now I want to tell you about the uh, utilities at the uh, Mountain View Farms. There is both water and electric available to all the uh, parcels uh, at this location. The water and electric is available either at the road or via uh, easement. Once you pick out which parcel you're interested in, uh, you'll want to do your own due diligence to determine uh, how to access the uh, water and electric and whether it's at the road or via utility easement. There are also property co covenants on the property. Um, at this location, uh, you can use a camper is permitted for camping purposes only. It cannot be used as a permanent residence. You'll want to uh, read over the property covenants. It will explain uh, the allowed uses and the number of days that are permitted uh, to uh, camp on the property. And as far as structures go, uh, mobile homes are permitted on the property. Uh, there is an age restriction and that information is available in the property covenants as well. Site built homes or modular homes, those are permitted as well. Lastly, I just want to take a minute to tell you about our financing. On our website, there is at the top of the page a financing tab, uh, so be sure to check that out. We have easy approval and flexible term programs that's set up to uh, fit your budget. Keep in mind though that the property, it cannot be used as your residence during the time of the seller financing. Once the seller financing is paid off, you're welcome to use the property as your residence at that point. That's usually not a problem for our customers because most people pay off the seller financing when they are ready to build their residence on the property and then they go to the bank and the bank lends money on both the land and the structure at that time. So I hope this uh, video has helped you in your search for land. Thanks a lot.